Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, and uh, I'm a little sweaty right now, but you'll have to bear with me. Now, uh, for those of you who watch my channel on a regular basis, you know that I like to poke around some old abandoned houses every now and again, and I figured I'd do something a little bit different this time. That's, I'm going to poke around my own house. I'm actually up in the attic area of my house. We're actually moving out, actually just moved out all our stuff today. Um, the landlord of this house, he inherited this from a um, an older lady who passed away. Um, all of her stuff's up here in the attic and it has never been gone through, never been sorted. It's all up here. How, I don't know, it may have been, I think it's there's been rented to several people. I don't know if people have been up here rooting around or not, but this is the first time that I've been up here to kind of take a look and see what there is up here. I think it's been left up here quite some time. And just FYI, and I know the comments I'm going to get, you know, anything that I find or see, I am not keeping. This does not belong to me. I'm just taking a look at it. So follow me. All right, first thing I'm seeing, well, actually, look at the scale right here, this old timey scale. Let's see how much I will weigh in old timey times. Wow, I'm actually lighter in old timey times. Maybe I need to travel back in time. But actually this right here, this is gorgeous. This is, check that out, that is an antique wooden record player in perfect condition. I guess that's like an old clock that you carry in your purse, maybe with some makeup or, I don't know if that's a cigarette holder. This is hat box. What is that? Some sort of horrific, sort of horrific medical device, or looks like something Marilyn Manson would wear. It's got creepy straps on it. Huh. Some sort of brace or something. That's unusual. Looks like there's some dolls been rat eaten down there. Puritron. I don't know if that's some sort of old heater or something. Boat. Some sort of yearbook. Or some, oh, what's that? Huh. And there's some sort of. I don't know if those are. First, I thought those might be surgical instruments, but I think it might just be some sort of writing utensils or I don't know it looks like tweezers maybe some sort of one of those things used for drawing circles I don't know oh, look at this this looks like a old scrapbook Look like medications of some sort. That 
that says Wild Root 4 Vitalist for Scalp. <laughs> Benzo Silicic Compound. Look at that. That looks like like something you use with an electric chair to like zap someone's brains out. But I actually think it may just be some old timey headphones. Almost looks like a doctor's bag right there. Maybe like a first aid kit. Gillette Blue Blades. I guess it's a, maybe it's a shaving bag. Ooh, look at these weird tubes, these weird rubbery tubes. I don't know who that is on the label there. Some turlac. Alright, here's some drugs, first class. Looks like some old Christmas lights. Really cool little alarm clock. Oh, look at this. Whatever that is. Cool old clock right there. It's in this metal box. Ooh, drugs. Lots of drugs. These drugs are expired in 1976. Aquatocin, methylizin, fluid control. It can make life livable. And I've never seen this. This is almost like a postcard with pills on it. Maybe you could mail pills through the U.S. Postal System. There's another metal box right here. Look at that picture, there's swans. Looks like someone almost dresses a pirate. This is a college in Raleigh, the Agricultural and Mechanical College. Look at this. That looks like someone in a trench, like from World War I. says two seconds two seconds after the after the alarm only six seconds are allowed to get masks on trench walls I can't read much more but it says gas at the top I guess they're yeah they got gas masks they're pretend I guess they're practicing for a gas attack in a trench that is crazy that this is just sitting up here Oh, it is getting very hot. There is no circulation at all. My eyes are actually burning from the sweat uh, dripping in them. Now, if you can see those cords in the attic here, that's actually nylon cords with porcelain grounders. <laughs> An electrician came up here once and told me that those were indeed functional. Check this out. Look at these goggles. These are like, you can see that. These are like steampunk goggles. So cool. Pretty rusted, but very cool. Oh, 
look at this. These photo album right here. Reminds me of Pauline. don't know what's going on in that picture. I don't know if that guy is doing a science experiment or making some moonshine. Over here, like we have a little day at the beach. Check out those awesome old swimsuits. what these women are doing at this tree maybe getting some maple syrup <laughs> oh look at this this woman look identical or dressed identical I wonder if they are twins <laughs> just like twins oh check out that oh, do not know what that is all lit up that tower building oh wow a little decrepit newspapers Let's see when they're from Oh, Mussolini rejects Roosevelt's plea from the Asheville time, 1939. That's amazing. All right, here's another scrapbook. And I don't know what these are, but they're the best thing ever. Look at these monkeys. No monkey business, there's a koala. It's all these weird monkey trading cards some monkey shaving that's interesting this is no place for little boys not sure what that even means Oh, look at this. This monkey is fighting this koala. At least I think it's a koala. Or, yeah, I think it's a koala. And I don't understand this. He's, koala's bashing him in the face with a baseball bat. He's getting hit in the eye with a watermelon or a squash. He's wearing a boxing glove and a crown. This is ludicrous, but not as ludicrous as the fact that he just won a boxing match against a pig. <laughs> oh, there he's playing golf. He's walking his pet porcupine. Just endless nonsense. Check out the designs on that. That is so cool. Love that. 
okay, uh, I could probably spend days up here going through all this stuff, but it is so hot and unbreathable up here that it does not look like that is an option. I'm going to have to call it a day, but uh, pretty cool stuff up here. Kind of a shame, you know, when someone passes on and there's no one for the sentimental things to go to that they wind up in an attic somewhere. Someone's whole life crammed up here in an attic. Very cool. All right. Appreciate you guys watching.